What you guys got another video here for you on how to update or flash the Gigabyte Aorus motherboard. This will work for any uh, Gigabyte motherboard really, but we're calling it the Aorus motherboard because that's what we've got here. But you can use this method on any Gigabyte board. Now you're going to need a USB flash drive and you're also going to need the BIOS version for your motherboard. So go to Gigabyte's website and I'm going to click on the Aorus gaming section here. And uh, basically once I get inside here, I will then be able to find the motherboard of my choice. I'm going to go straight up to Intel or AMD chipset, which is up above. It says all chipsets. You can then choose what chipset, whether it's an Intel or AMD. I'm going to go for AMD uh, B450 because that is the brand of motherboard that I've got. Now, the important part is, is to make sure you've get the right version because it won't work unless you get the right version of motherboard. In my case, it's the B450 Aorus Pro version. It's not the Wi-Fi version, it's the Pro version, and it says revision 1.0. Now, if you're looking at this one and yours says revision 2.0, then download the 2.0 version. Once we're inside here and selected that, go to the support area here. We can click on support, and this will open up the support page for Gigabyte. And then once we're inside here, we need to choose our OS. In this case, it's Windows 10, 64-bit. And now what we can do is come down the order here and look for a BIOS. So just come down and click on the BIOS section. And you can now see we have a bunch of BIOSes here. Now, normally the very top one, the first one is the latest version. You can see it's called F50. And I know that the version on my board is a lot older so I'm going to download this version here and uh, make sure you read all the information in inside the actual zip file here so I've got the zip file downloaded this is my BIOS inside here and remember this is only one way of flashing your BIOS there is quite a few ways with the Gigabyte motherboards but we're going to be doing it this way which is the tried and trusted way which I do all the time which is with a USB flash drive there's a bunch of files inside that zip file and these are the files what we're going to need to flash our BIOS. You can see there is one actual uh, file in here. There's a readme file here with a bat file in there as well, which is your batch file. We're not going to be needing any of those files, but I'll just put all those onto the USB flash drive just in case I want them at a future date. So close off the uh, readme file. And what we need to do now is prepare our USB flash drive for our a BIOS update. So I'm going to be using this software here. It's a GUI based software which will convert your USB flash drive into FAT32 format. It's important that you use FAT32 because the uh, BIOS won't be recognized inside there. So you need to make sure that your USB flash drive is FAT32. That's the most important bit. Now if you don't want to use the software and you want to use your own version to uh, get FAT32 on your flash drive by all means do so but you can see I've got it plugged in and it's recognized the drive as E drive 64 gigabytes in its NTFS so I've got quick format and I can give this say for instance a name called BIOS and you can change the allocation unit size to the maximum size if you want to and this will then make the whole USB flash drive FAT32 click on the start button here and click OK and it will wipe the drive and prepare it for FAT32. It will be blank, there'll be no information on there, so just let that happen. And now we can click close and we've now got a flash drive that's been formatted as FAT32 and there is no data on there, so it's been completely wiped. So let me just quickly right click on the drive here and go properties and see whether it says FAT32 and it does so that means we're all ready to go and we can now drop our BIOS files onto that USB flash drive and then we can go to our BIOS and then flash our BIOS. So let's go ahead and drop all these files onto our USB flash drive. These are the ones we downloaded from the Gigabyte website. I'm just going to drag all those onto the flash drive. Now we really only need the one file here to use to flash the BIOS and that is uh, the this one here I can just drag that file on if I wanted to but I'm just going to drag them all on there it doesn't really matter it won't hurt them being on there so I'll just drag them all on all I need to do now is boot up to my USB flash drive so I've got the flash drive plugged in and I'm going to restart the computer and I'm going to tap on F12 to get into my BIOS. Now sometimes you can tap the end key which will get you into the Q flash here.
but I'm just going to hit Q flash inside the BIOS like this and it will now allow me to update my BIOS. You can see we've got version F41 and we know that our BIOS what we just downloaded is F50 so this will update it to quite a bit and now we've got all the other information here. So let's go and click on update BIOS and from here you should now see the version on the other side here called F50. This is the version we just downloaded so I can highlight this here and then we could just go over and hit the little arrow so you can see it's pointing to that uh, version on my SanDisk USB flash drive here. So just go to the arrows on the right hand side here and this will make it go to the next stage. And there you go. Now it's ready to uh, update and flash the BIOS. All I need to do is click on press to start. And once I push this, it will start to update the BIOS. At this stage, you don't want to be turning off the computer or messing with the computer. Just leave it well alone. And uh, basically, that's all you need to do here. And this will go through the process of flashing and upgrading your BIOS to the very latest version. If you look up onto the left hand side here, this is the current version of BIOS, which says BIOS version F41, and it will give you the date and time and everything else. And you can see also the updated BIOS will be now F50, and it will also give you the BIOS date there as well. So that is what we need to do here. So we're just gonna let this go ahead and it will then reboot the system and take us back to the desktop. And there we go. You've just successfully flashed or upgraded your BIOS with the latest version on a Gigabyte motherboard. In this case, it's a Gigabyte Aorus motherboard and using the QFlash method, which is pretty straightforward and easy to do. There is other methods you can use. You can use the via the internet and also at your desktop, you can flash it. But personally, I find this an easy way to do it. It's not that difficult and uh, it's probably a little bit safer. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what way you do it, as long as it works and you get it flashed, that's all that matters. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Can't remember who requested this one, but I hope it helps you out. Thanks again for watching. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.